Hello, my name is Sudhakar Vishwanathan. I'm the National Sales Manager for Biosolids and Bioenergies at Veolia Water Technologies in the US. We are here in Buffalo, Minnesota. One of our reference facilities that combines a thermal dryer with a thermal oxidation process to convert sludge into a fuel and eventually into energy. The building you're seeing in front of you is where the belt filter press, the biocon dryer, and the ERS thermal oxidation process are all co-located. As you walk into the building, the first thing you'll notice is the belt filter press. There are two belt filter press that run in parallel. And if you walk to the far side of the building, you will see the biocon dryer on your left and the ERS process on the right. Let's quickly jump to the top of the dryer and see how the feed pump and condensers are and how they are different from most other dryers. What you're seeing here is a series of pumps with a series of nozzles that are feeding the dryer. This is by design to prevent any single point failure of a dryer by maintaining a consistent throughput. Our condenser which sits on the corner here is a packed filter, packed tower which uses processed water from the plant to essentially cool the uh, hot air that's leaving the dryer. Again, these are fail-proof systems that we have designed to ensure that the dryer operates consistently with no downtime. Back again to the ground floor, you will notice this the, the screw which conveys the dry material out of the dryer, crushes it and again conveys it back into an intermediate tank. This intermediate tank provides us a white spot between the dryer and the ERS process. Taking a closer look at the ERS feed tank, you'll notice that that material further is conveyed using a screw, a screw conveyor. And as you walk closer to the ERS process itself, you'll notice that the material drops into a chute and there is a stoker screw which eventually feeds that material into the ERS. The ERS process is a thermal oxidation process that's operated at relatively high temperature and you can optimize this process to get complete carbon mineralization as well as go after new emerging contaminants such as PFAS, microplastics and other pollutants such as pharmaceutical waste. With this process, you will achieve complete combustion and complete treatment of all those uh, contaminants of concern. The flue gas from this process is relatively hot and by using a heat recovery heat exchanger, either air to air as you're seeing here at this facility or an air to thermal oil system, you're able to recapture the heat that's leaving the flue gas and repurpose it to heat the dryer making this whole process net neutral or net positive depending on the type of sludge we are being that's being processed. The flue gas from this particular facility is eventually treated using a bag filter, which has PSC and lime addition, but the newer facilities would have more state-of-the-art technologies such as wet scrubber, electrostatic precipitators, and gap towers to meet the most stringent regulations of today. That concludes our quick preview of the virtual tour. If you're interested in visiting the facility or having this virtual tour, the complete version of it, please visit veoliawatertech.com or email us at usmunicipal at veolia.com. Thank you.